Hello guys, Tails86 here with Weekly Review. Today we're going to be showing off Gyrus for the NES that was made by Ultra Games and published by Konami back in 1988. This is a 360-degree uh, space shooter, basically where you are the hero and you have to rid the space of evil. So you have two different control schemes. You can choose between Controller A or Control B. So we're going to use Control A. Now, to advance to every single stage, you have to go through three different warp stages. At the end of every third stage, you face a final boss. And those final bosses are not always very easy to face. To shoot, basically press on the B button, just tap. You can fire bombs with the A button. Your playing field uh, is basically a 360 degree circle. You have lots of different power-ups. You can gain uh, double shots as well as extra bombs that you'll maybe need to save onto later to get through those harder stages. And as well as three lives to go ahead and start you off with. No continues, but you can always gain one-ups in the uh, chance stage after beating the uh, boss the first time. Now also make sure that you avoid those uh, asteroids because they will hurt you and they will take one life away from you and you really want to try to hold on to as many lives as you can because this game is not easy it is a very hard shooter even for an NES title even for as old as it is it still has that old type of arcade type feel to it that makes it so special Now, as I said before, you have three different stages you have to go through. You basically warp to those different stages. And I'm just sucking ass right now. I'm doing horrible right now on it. Now, as you see, we have one more warp to Neptune. And we're getting ready to face off against our boss at the end of this portion of the stage. Like I said, you want to make sure that you uh, save your bombs for when you really, really need them. Don't do like me. I'm just kind of half-assing it a little bit, but still a really fun game. So when you chain uh, different enemy ships together, and if you don't miss, you get 1,000 points added on to each time. So here we're going to face off with our boss, and this is pretty simple. You just open, you just fire on the uh, open areas course watching out for him because he has a uh, triple shot ability for each one of those sides but the game's really simple it's very fun to play but it's also difficult to master so if you're a space shooter fanatic and if you want to try a game out that's fun and it's even old school I would definitely check this one out has great controls really great 8-bit music and even graphics that are even a little bit more enhanced than uh, I've seen on some NES titles. So I'd definitely check this out because it's a really cool game. Now at the end of uh, every stage you have a chance stage. You want to try to hit everything that you possibly can in this stage because everything you do hit you gain an extra amount of points for it. Like right there we just gained about a thousand. And this basically will add on to your already score. So I think right now we're going to probably have at least 5,000, if not more. Ah, well, about 3,000. Not bad, though. But as you guys can see, it's really, it's really, kinda, it's really cool uh, gameplay mechanics. So if you don't like the first control, you can try the second one. I haven't tried the second one myself, but I really think the game is a lot of fun. But as I said, though, make sure that you uh, try to save your bombs as often as you can because the game does get harder very quickly. So you're going to have to make sure you're watching everything that you're doing because as, as you see right here, you're having to make sure you avoid all these other projectiles coming at you like asteroids and uh, other ships firing at you. And then those little ships, I hate those because sometimes they can respawn or they can split into uh, two ships instead of just being one ship. So they kind of get a little annoying. 
but if you're real good if you have real good eye coordination and if you're really really quick and fast tapping on the buttons then you'll do pretty good but like I said the game is a solid title definitely worth trying to look for if you're looking for some old games to go ahead and play for old time retro type sake so I really recommend this if you're looking for a game to really keep you occupied for a few hours because this is definitely up a person's alley if you want something that has good difficulty but also has that retro type feel to it of the old Konami games which in my opinion were some of the greatest games ever made um, I would definitely check this out definitely worth the price if you can find it uh, even used because if you can find an NES cartridge of this um, hold on to it for as long as you can because they don't sell them anymore unless you go online and pay like really expensive amounts for brand new copies so if I were you just check a look for a used copy I believe I found mine for about under five dollars or so so I would definitely recommend playing it though it gets a eight out of ten for being great controls really cool music as well as a pretty cool little storyline but then again Konami is for their games for music and great gameplay so thank you guys for watching and take care. Later.